what's up everybody so this song is in drop d tuning so the low e you drop down to a d and all the rest of the strings stay the same so it's d a d g b e it's drop d this is how the first part sounds Okay, so I'm going to refer to the, the low E string as the low E, even though it's in the drop D, I'm still going to refer to it as the low E, uh, just to make it easier. Alright guys, so to start the song, you're going to make this D chord, but you're going to leave the high E open, so it's 2nd fret on the G, 3rd fret on the B, and then open on the low E string. I'm sorry, the high E string. So the picking pattern that starts the song out sounds like this. Okay, and that's all while you're holding that D chord. So the way you do that then is you're gonna you're gonna be pretty much pedaling this bass the bass note the, throughout the whole song. So you're gonna hit the low E string, and then you're gonna hit the G string, then the D string with your thumb, then the B string. This is how it looks slow. Okay, so then you take your uh, middle finger and you're on the third fret on the A string, you're gonna bend it a little bit. And then hit the D string again. So it sound, looks like this really slow. Okay, so after you do that, then you're gonna go just six four six four. Okay, so you do that four times to start the song out. Just like that. So then the next part jumps into this little like solo thing he does, like this little riff he does at the beginning of the song, but it's all still while the, ba the bass notes are going, so that sounds like this. So the way to do that, and pretty much the whole time, you have to consistently keep your thumb moving like this, between six and four. Okay. So to start out, you're you're gonna you'd be on the first fret on the B string. Use your pointer finger. So you're gonna hit the bass first, then you're gonna hit that note. With I use my pointer. Then right after you hit that note, you're gonna you're just gonna bend it a little bit, just give it a little bit of a nudge. And then you're going to go right back to the bass note on the D string. Okay. So after those three picks right there. The next one is you're going to pluck the low E and the B string. And you're going to do that little bend again. Okay. So... After you pluck... Then you hit the D string again, and then you then you bend again. Try to slow it down for you. Okay. Then you're gonna take your ring finger and go to the third fret on the B string. You're gonna pluck the D and the B, then the low E and the B. Two plucks. So it's okay. 
Okay. So after you do the two plugs, hit that D string again with the bass. Then you go right back to the low E and do the same exact thing again. You're going to do this three times. It's going to sound like this. Okay. So the fourth time he's going to do like this little lick instead. Um, sounds like this. Coming out of it. So the way you do that is, again, you're going to hit the low E string first. Then you're going to bend on the third fret on the high E string. I use my ring finger. So after you hit that six string bass, I'm just going to do like a bend up and bend down on that, on that third fret. And right after that, you're, you're hitting that fourth fret. Or I'm sorry, four string with the bass. It happens really quick. You just you have to get the timing down exactly. But so you hit the low E, then you hit the do the bend, then you hit the fourth. Okay. Then the next thing is a pluck on the. You're gonna come to the first fret on the high E and pluck the low E with it. Then you go to the third fret on the B string with your ring finger. And when you when you hit that, then you hit the fourth fourth string bass note. So I'm gonna try to do it slow. It's kinda hard to do it slow, but Then the next little part, same bend again. So the last one, little one, is a pluck on the low E and the high e, high E with the third fret. Do that same little bend. Then a pluck on the first fret, high E with the D string. So after you do that plug, then you're going to land again on the third fret on the B string. Hit that by itself, then the bass note. So after you land there, then you go right back into the first riff again. Okay, so I'm going to just play everything from the beginning so far so you can see how it all goes together. So that's the next part. So once you get back to that beginning riff again, you're going to do that three times. Not four. The first time it was four, this time you do it three times. And then, okay, so while, right when you're about to start the fourth time, you're going to hit the bass note again. You're going to hit the G string. This is while you're still in that D chord, the D shape. So you're going to hit the bass chord, G string, then you're going to Pretty much what that is, is D string, you're going to do a, with your ring finger, you're going to, you're going to kind of bend a little bit, then off, then A string, bend a little bit, off, 
then low E string, bend a little bit, then off. And you're kind of just like, kind of dirty sounding, you kind of, it's okay if you hit a couple other strings. Then you cut it off, you cut all the sound. Mute it with your palm. So after this, it goes into this next part. Okay, so what that is, is again, you're gonna start the same riff like from the beginning of the song. Okay. Then you're gonna go into this next shape, which I played a little different, a little weird. I don't know if everyone could play it like this, but I'm just gonna show you. I'll show you two different ways you can do it. The way I do it is I bar the B and the high, the B and high E string on the third fret with my pointer finger, and then I take my thumb and I wrap it around the low E on the fifth fret. I know it's kind of unusual, but it's the easiest way for me to do it. So the other way you could hold it if you want, you could put your pointer finger on the B, middle finger on the high E on the third fret, and then bring your ring finger to the fifth. You could do it like that also. I just for me it's easier to do this. Okay, so this is how that part sounds. When you have that shape, you're gonna hit the low E. G string, D string, pluck with the low E and the high E, and then the D and the B string. And then 6 4 6 4. Okay? So Okay, the next part is 3rd fret on the A and on the B. I use my middle finger for the A and then ring finger for the B, like that. Okay, so you're hitting the A string, G string, B string, A string, and then G string, D string. Okay, it's kind of confusing, but... Just rewind that if you need to go back again, so just watch slowly. So after that, you're going to keep your ring finger on the B, and you're going to move your middle finger to the... You're going to bring you're gonna bring your pointer to the first fret on the A string this time. It's kind of a weird stretch, but you're bringing this here and this stays here on the 3rd fret B string. And when you get to your pointer finger on the 1st fret, on the A string, you're gonna hit the A string, G string, B string, A string, G string. So it's... Then you're gonna bring your that middle finger that's open, 3rd fret on the low E, 4th fret, and then open. And I just go. Another thing that you can do that um, Lindsey Buckingham does does in this version of the song, he does these pull offs between the G and the or the D and the A string, and then he goes right back into it. So you could, you could do it either way. So you're gonna do that uh, twice. So it's gonna it's gonna look like this um, together.
Okay, so after you do that twice, you're gonna cut it again, mute it, mute the strings, and it goes into the chorus part, which is, he's doing like this power chord, little strum, and the way you're gonna do that, I use my ring finger, you cover the low E on the fifth and the A on the fifth. So you hit it once, and then you do two mutes, mute, muted strums, then you hit it again. You do that eight times. Then you go into this D chord again with just the two fingers, leave the high E open. So it's second fret G, third fret B. Do like two strums, so it's Okay, so after that, that D string, that D chord. This is the next chord. You're doing a power chord. Get your my pointer fingers on the A string first fret, and the uh, I'm kind of barring the D and G on the third fret, and I'm muting the low E with my thumb. And then you move it down. Up, move it up two frets, so it's. Then you go back to this. Okay, then it goes back into that again. So really the. Uh, one of the only other guitar parts of the song is kind of the bridge part, which it's later, it comes a little later in the song, it comes out of this uh, heavy part. Again, that D chord, leave the high E open. You're gonna do like a strum. Then you're gonna pick the high E B. Then you're gonna bring your middle finger to the third fret on the G string. And give it like a little vibrato. And then you're just gonna pick high E B. G, high E, B, G, and then high E and B. Then you do it again. You do that four times. That's like the little bridge part. And if you want, you could, you could, uh, mimic the bass guitar and do the little bass riff that comes right after that. Fifth fret, you can do that twice. Seventh, eighth, seventh, fifth, third, fifth, Seventh, open. And you do that twice. That's just like a little bass part that you could loop if you want, if you have a looper pedal. Um, but yeah, that's all the main parts of the song. Hope it helped you guys. And again, if you have any questions, you can leave comments. Um, hope you guys subscribe if you haven't already. There's more lessons coming and previous lessons that you should check out and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.